Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry it's been so long since I made a video. I promise I'll do more videos here coming up with work and everything going on, it's been hard. But today we have a 2023 Tesla Model Y Performance. We're gonna go ahead and put some, what are they call alligators, rim protectors on the car. We'll show you how to do that. I'll do an unboxing of those in a second here. So here's the Tesla rim here, very expensive I'm sure. You don't, definitely don't want to get curb rash on these things. That's where you hit the curb unintentionally for sure and scratch this up. I'm sure this rim is four or five hundred dollars, I'm sure. So we're going to put them all the way around the car. I'll show you how to do it and then hopefully it'll help some of you guys out. But before we do that, let's take a look at this car. This car is pretty awesome. Like I said, it's a 2023 Tesla Model Y Performance. It's had some upgrades for sure. You definitely had the windows tinted. Even the windshield's been tinted with UV protectant tint, it's clear. Oh yeah, we put some mud flaps on there. That's a new thing we put on there. There you go, I'll cut it on the other side too. It's probably sunnier over there. You can see the black tint. Those are definitely Tesla carbon fiber license plate holder. This is not the plaid edition, but it is the performance model. Here's the rim, a little bit better in the sun. Sorry, the sun's going down, so we'll try to get it in the garage and get better light on it. But yeah, it's a beautiful car. So some of the things that we did, we'll go over those really quick here. All right, guys, so we're in the car now. I just want to go over some of the stuff that's in the car. Numerous things in this car, actually. We have carbon fiber, steering wheel. I guess they're called covers, yeah. And we got also have carbon fiber blinker and turn signal and headlight switch covers on there. You can see that on there. And also in the little cubby here, there's a little caddy thing here. It holds some of your garage door opener, things like that. And then this is a little cover. It's got a carbon fiber cover on it also. And then also the USB, USB-A, I think, or USB-C, I'm sorry. Um, it's like an additional little thing to plug in, so you don't have to fumble with the the the, um, the connectors in there. Yeah, so it's a little bit easier to get to there. Also, got a cup holder, a plastic little cup holder here, a little liner. Also, a cover for the armrest here. Numerous things in this car. <laughs> also, the um, I can't remember the name of the Tasmanian. Oh yeah, the Tasmanian. Car mats. All weather car mats. Yeah, all weather car mats. Tasmanian all weather car mats installed here. There's also some inserts in the door here. Little plastic inserts here in case you spill water or anything like that. And also carbon fiber on the door latch. So all in all, it's just a beautiful car. There's some stuff in the back we'll show you too. The screen protector. Oh yeah, there's also Oh, I forgot to mention too, there's also a screen protector on there too. Very easy to install. We should go through over all this stuff. I'll put links to all the stuff that we put in the car below in the description so you'll have it all if you want to check this stuff out. Okay guys, a couple other things we added to the car besides the Tasmanian mud flaps, or I'm sorry, the Tasmanian um, car mats. Under seat storage, there's one here on the passenger side and also one on the driver's side. There's also some in the back that we'll show you here too. All right, guys. So in the back seat, we do have a doggy cover. I'll show you. I'll show you that seat protector because the seats. This is a white on white model, so the seats are white. But also here in the back, it's just like the front, we have some under seat storage with a cover on there. There's also a trash can that we, we lined it with um, with like a plastic bag. It's also got a cover on it too, right here. Also, there's another one under there for the driver's seat. Tasmanian floor mats also in the back seat. And we'll put up the dog uh, seat protector so you guys can check that out too. All right guys, here's the dog transport here. It protects all the seats. It actually hooks to the headrest in the rear. That's a doggy leash that hooks to the seat belt. It also hooks to the um, headrest in the front seat to hold it up. There's side protection also over there. We'll show you a little closer look at that. It has a pass-through net here. So it allows the ventilation to go through and also so you can see the dog and the dog can see you. And then in the door back here, we also have another insert plastic. If somebody puts a water bottle back there, it leaks or something, it'll, it'll collect it in that. All right guys, so this is the door here, unprotected, but we do have, just have a cover that goes with it. So we'll bring that in now. 
and you can see these comes with these little tiny tabs there's three of them but it's not recommended they're supposed to be pushed down inside this little well here but it's not recommended if you have window tint so we tinted the window recently so we came up with a little different way to do it we have these little clips here. They're made for tarps, to tie down tarps. You can hang like water jugs on them or to add weight on them. So we just hang it off the uh, coat, coat rack in the back and it protects it all the way up so the dog can't get to the, the top of the door at all. It protects the window tent too from the dog. I also forgot to mention this under seat storage under here actually holds a 13 inch laptop. So that's pretty big storage underneath there. All right guys, this is the hatchback of the car. So we also put some Tasmanian mats back here. Real, they're real thick. Um, we feel like they're gonna be great protection. We also put in some cubbies in this little insert here. Normally there's a hole there. Pull that off and show you guys. So now there's actually a cubby. We'll put a link to all this stuff too, I promise. Yeah, there we go, cool. Yeah, so that's all lined plastic, so it holds anything. It's better than having a hole down there that stuff can fall in. Easy to install, no tools, nothing. Hopefully you guys can see that on the camera. But it just covers up that dead space. And actually we just found out recently, they do make a refrigerator that you can put right here that plugs into the um, power outlet there too. We've heard it's loud though, but something to look into if you want. There's also another cargo cover we have rolled up in there. We can lay that out. It actually comes over the back of the, the trunk here, or the hatchback. So if you want to sit back here, you won't worry, have to worry about scratching up this, this edge right here. All right guys, so we bought the Alligator wheel protection kit. Looks like it's made, British made, it says right here. Fits wheels up to 12 to 24 inches. Protects against curb rash for sure. We'll check it out, we'll open it up. Some of the stuff you're gonna need though to put this stuff on, I've done it before. I have a little tiny screwdriver just to put these little clips in, we'll show you. You need some kind of a knife to cut it because the wheels aren't you know 24, so we'll have to cut some off. And then need the world famous rubber mallet. Definitely get a rubber mallet. Don't beat on this thing with a real hammer. All right, we'll show you what's inside. All right, guys, we'll show you what's inside here. This is a bunch of, there's a little clips I was telling you about right here. I don't know if you can see them. I'll show you, put them on when we get them on the actual, on the wheel rim saver itself. This is a little cover where you splice the, um, where you do the cut. You can super glue these on. And it typically comes or should come with four wheel protectors, four wheel rim protectors. And this thing goes on the outside edge of the rim. So if you do get a little curb rash, it'll help that for sure. And you get four of them. They're just taped together. So we'll two are taped together, you know, per per set here, but we'll take them all apart. All right, so we'll get the car in here, we'll get the thing jacked up, and we'll show you how we do it. Okay, we're ready to install one here, but first thing you gotta do is put these little clips in. The little clips actually grab the rim. They go onto the, there's little tiny, little tiny grooves right here that they go into. You'll snap them into place. Just like this. Yeah, just like that, perfect. That part will actually grab the rim. So we've already deflated the tire. We have the car on jack stands to support it. Okay guys, hopefully you can see this. So you wanna start out right here with this little clip here. You start it, push it in, let the air out of the tire, deflate the tire, put it in there, kind of use a rubber mallet to kind of tap it down in there like that. You go all the way around the whole rim, get it seated really well. This one's not all the way on yet. Just give you a heads up. All right, I'll show you what it looks like when we get it all on.
Okay guys, we're back on the Tesla here this morning. Ended up finishing it up last night. It got kind of dark to film, so um, I couldn't finish. I thought I'd just go over and show you what it looks like. Any final thoughts? So here's the actual rim guard on there now. You can see it goes all the way around the rim there. And I think they actually look pretty good. They do stick out a little bit farther, which you want. You don't want the the uh, curb to hit the actual rim right here. So this sticks out a little bit farther. You can see if I can show you a better angle. There you go. But yeah, it came out great. <laughs> Actually, very easy to put on. The biggest thing is um, you gotta watch how you jack up the car. There's jack points on the car. Definitely read about the jack points. Make sure you know where they're at. You just need to jack up the car just enough to get the tire off the ground. That way you can let the air out of the tire. There's as much air as the tire as you can. And you just beat these things on with a, with a rubber mallet. I know it sounds terrible. You're, you're hitting a $60,000 car with a rubber mallet for about an hour. But yeah, it does come out pretty good when you're all done. So overall, I think it looks great. And I think it's going to help the rim for sure. So if you're interested in buying these, it's the Allogator. So far, so good. We haven't hit a curb at all, but hopefully we'll never will. We'll never test these things out. And I'm not actually sure what happens when we need to replace the tire. I think they would probably just take them off and then just hand them to me, I'm pretty sure. I'll just have to put them on later, put them back on. I'm not sure. If somebody knows the answer to that question, yeah, let me know, I'm curious, so. But yeah, this ends the, the video on the Tesla Model Y Performance Alligator Rim Guard Protectors. I think they came out really nice. The car is beautiful for sure. Yeah, and we wanna keep it that way. All right, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. I just to give you guys a heads up. I did actually order the 2024 Silverado 2500. So I'm going to be getting that hopefully as soon as they call, maybe about a month they said. So there're going to be a lot of upgrades on that one too. So I'll keep you guys posted. I just did some RV videos. Those will be up too as well. All right guys, I appreciate appreciate you guys watching, liking, subscribing. Leave me any comments below what you think of these things. I'm curious. See if anybody else has these things on their car. Be good to know. All right, guys, definitely um, like, follow, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Definitely helps me out in the algorithm for uh, YouTube. Anybody who uh, subscribes to my channel, I subscribe right back to yours. So that way um, we could just help each other out a little bit. All right, guys, have a great day. And I hope this video helped you out. All right, thanks again, guys.